Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by uh, dropping us a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. And yeah, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse to go in all. We've got some amazing content there. Just feel free to subscribe and enjoy whatever we put out weekly. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some pretty cool conversations. So, you guys check them out. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel for the visual. And we've got a Patreon account. You guys can feel free to become members, and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, giving us stuff to do. You guys are the best. You just, I think, even beyond best. I don't know what word I can use. And yeah, um, I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. So today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be reacting to Young Priest through his Bible at Didat's office when he couldn't answer to Didat's questions I always love I mean, did that um videos i really hope i haven't reacted to this because it seems so familiar i haven't seen it i'm just looking at the image that's displayed here but i shouldn't judge before i watch it so without wasting time let's get into the video you see i'm not going to renounce my christianity and no no you that that, 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 that you've been done already i i hear what you're saying my my, my whole point to round up what you're saying is i agree in a lot of ways the bible contradicts itself or seems to contradict itself my point is that the men that wrote the bible were not perfect i don't think god sort of sat down on the guy's shoulder and said you know in his ear okay and then told him word for word what to write i think if i see something happening in the street and i wrote an account of it and that gentleman that I saw the street saw the same thing and he gave an account would our accounts be the same you see basically maybe is, the general is, the very very basic general outline of the story won't be the same contradicting. you see once you don't contradict themselves no, no, listen, listen. the book says that solomon had four thousand stalls of horses yeah another guy says he's inspired by god he said he had forty thousand stalls of horses four and forty does that make a difference to you difference of thirty six thousand do you know that Oh, can I huh? Right. And now the Jews, they didn't know the zero. They didn't know the zero. They wrote it in words. They wrote 4,000 in Hebrew, F-O-U-R-4. Yeah. They wrote 40, F-O-R-T-Y, 40,000. Yeah. There's a difference of 36,000. Who is inspired out of the two? Hmm? Then this book says, one guy, one guy here, you read there. It says, he says that that guy is an Ishmaelite. And mother says he's an Israelite, the same fellow. But if I told you that Muhammad was a Jew, an Israelite, that guy tells you Muhammad was an Ishmaelite, an Arab. But Ishmael is, is, is Ishmael. The children of Ishmael are the Ishmaelites. The children of Israel are the Israelites. Yeah, but I right? think now, um, uh, Israel. Not Israel, what's the word? Israel and, and someone else in the Isaac, same. Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. Oh, yeah, it's the same person, eh? No, 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 oh, no, no. It means the same. Ishmael, no, Isaac. No, man, there are two. There was a post downstairs at a cafe I saw and it had all the Muslim names and then names in brackets all the other way around. No, no, whatever that is. Uh, Jacob no. was... Uh, uh, Yago. No, yeah. no, that means that how we pronounce. We pronounce it Yago. Yusuf, like Yusuf, we say, you say Joseph, we say Yusuf, is the same person, but that's the way of pronouncing. Yeah. Dialect, dialect, you see. But now, if I'm telling you that Jesus was an Arab, that guy said, you say Jesus was a Jew. Yeah. One of us is sp not speaking the truth. Yeah. In this case, we know who's not speaking the truth. I'm a liar. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. But suppose we didn't know. We didn't know. We didn't know about a fellow. And you said he was Jew and I say he was an Arab. Yeah. Both of us could be liars. Both of us could be liars. Am I right? Yeah. But in our case about Jesus, you are speaking the truth and I am speaking a lie. Yeah. Right. So now you open the book. Open the book. 1 Chronicle 2.17. Mm -hmm. It tells you that the guy they mentioned, he is an is Ishmaelite. 2 Samuel 17. Verse 25, he says he is an Israelite. Now, coming from the same God, does God know what he's talking about? Does he know the difference between Ishmaelite and Israelite? Does he know the difference? Yeah. 
Does he know? He, what does he know? That means he's no God. He's a man sitting on some, some throne. He's telling you, sir, write down my son Jesus is a Jew. And he's telling that man, sir, write down my son Jesus is an Arab. Can they think that originates from the same God, both these statements? And to say that one of those prophets that wrote that down was, was wrong? Or both of them are wrong. Or one of them is wrong, definitely. That's your book. And I show you a hundred like that. Jesus says, Jesus says, He says, of those that have given me, I have lost none. None means not one. Not one. Yeah. In the next chapter he says, of those that you have given me, I have lost only one. Now the, the difference between one and none. Where is that? <laughs> John, John 17, 12. John chapter 17, verse 12. John 17, 12. Uh, this is my son. <clears throat> While I was with them, I kept them safe by the power of your name. The name you gave me. I protected them and none of them, one of them was lost except the man who was bound to be lost. So that the scripture might come true. Right. The same John, chapter 17, he says he lost only one. And here he says he has lost none. The difference between none and one you know how many percent is that? Just, I'm just going to read the context of this because I actually read this a long time ago now. Go and remember it. Okay. It's just a little bit of the context. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to wrap yeah. these two down. Because yes. I've actually got a lot of work to do and I don't want to waste Me too, time. I'm also a very busy man. But I sacrificed my whole morning. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, 17... That's still. That's still. That's still. You see, you took that Bible out. Yeah, no, that it's is, my Bible. That is still. Still. That is still. Yes. Like, you see, please look, may I ask look, for my Bible back? You took it from there. That is still. I just absented myself for two seconds, and this is what you do. You are a man of spirit, a spiritual person. You said, I renounce Christianity. I'm quoting your words, and it says, throw this in the dustbin. I was joking. I was frustrated. No, no, that's what you said. Now you must be a man of your word. As a spiritual person, you had no right to pick it up. Okay. That was stealing. Please may I have my Bible back. No. no. Please it to me. No. Give it to me. Give it to me. I want my Bible. No. Yes. Wait, no. Bye. Bye. Um, is there a toilet I could go to quickly? Yes. Uh, more second. Yeah. Show him the toilet. Thanks. Mr. E.B. Rockhart. Oh, he's a good So we, did, we were searching for him. So we just stayed here from going to Mars. Yeah, we're going now, yes. Okay. You can join us. And then... And I then want to go there, but the thing is, I've still got a lot of work I need to do. Um, so I'm going to come some other time. You again, come, very you come, soon. You come about half past twelve. Half past twelve. And then prayer time, you can go down and watch and come and have lunch with us. Okay. You'll enjoy the curry and rice as well. Yeah. You see? Yeah, I love curry. Because we, we didn't offer you anything at all today. You said you had no, some tea, coffee before you came. Coffee but next around. time, curry and rice. Okay, you know, great. Inshallah. Um, I'll, I'll come in, in the morning and, and make, a, make an appointment. No, 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 you don't have to morning. make an appointment. You just come along any just weekday. Any day. Yes. Come here. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, this is the, uh, I had an unbelievable morning, man. This is like the time of my life. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you. And can I have my Bible, please? No. Mm -hmm. I need that Bible. No. My mom and dad gave it to me for Christmas. The Christian, you see, I had another Christian from the university after one of my lectures in the city hall. Yeah. And he tells me, he said, look, I don't agree with you. I said, you have a right. What, what you don't agree with? He heard my lecture. He can tell me nothing. But I don't agree with you. See, Christ is the way. I said, look, man, his teachings, you can't practice them. I said, no, I can. I said, look, Jesus said, 
It has been said by them of old time, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, this is not evil. He who strikes you on the right cheek, give him the other. Yeah. So are you prepared to? But I strike you on the right cheek and you give the other. Yeah. You said yes. Right. Come on. No, I don't want to. No, no, no. He, he said, okay. right, he's prepared to. Yeah. That means he can follow Jesus Christ. Yeah. Right? So I withdrew. That means he won the first round. See, I didn't want to dirty my hands. <laughs> That's huh? not so good. Then I said, Jesus also said, said, he who comes to borrow of you till now. And he said, he says, if a person takes away your uh, coat, you give him a cloak also. Mm. Are you prepared to do that? He said, yes. He had a lumber jacket on. I said, the lumber jacket. So he took it out. Yeah. I said, the jersey as well. The jersey was wearing under the lumber jacket. He took the jersey out. Then I said, no, Jesus said, he who comes to borrow of you, turn down not away. So he who borrows... He who comes to borrow of you, turn down not away. Yeah. Means respond to him, give it to him. Give it to him. I said, how much you got in your pocket? Uh, I said, how much have you got in your pocket? He said, you need it. He said, I got, don't look at my suit. <laughs> I said, I need it. Come, take it out. No, he couldn't. He couldn't. You see, now his religion went only up to so far. Yeah. That he was prepared to do. He was prepared to give his jacket, lumber jacket and his jersey. Now I said, the money. Come on, come on. Let's see how, you, how far you can follow him. Yeah. So, no, no, no. That he can't part with his money. Huh? So this is where he could go. Now, he's about to go. He says, I want my jacket. I said, what for? What for? Damn it, you gave it to me. That means you're only showing, uh, scoring a point. Yeah. See? So I said, no, 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 no. So, <laughs> He cried. He cried. I said, you won't get it. And he didn't get it. I said, give it to the poor. Yeah. You won't get it. So in other words, now man, to me, a man is a man of his word. He's the right. I give my life. You must be prepared to give your life. Uh, right. Yeah, we're going to go for prayer now. I need my Bible. It's, and my mom and dad gave it to me. Even if it has a, uh, what do you call it, has sentimental reasons. Right, come. Let's move. You can't. If you threw it away, it's gone. He told me, throw it in the dustbin. And my mom, they're gonna kill me if I lose it. Right. Uh, 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 you couldn't organize something with your dad, could you please? Legal. Tomorrow, so come tomorrow. Okay, uh, I, I, I'm gonna lose it. I'm, I'm, my mom and dad, they'll kick me out the house. Please lock up. Okay, so I You lock up for prayer? Yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> Bible that he, he threw it there and denounced Christianity. Uh, he said that it's. He feels that uh, if you can stay in the courtesy of giving him the Bible, uh, you can feel free in talking to your father. Let me tell you, you don't get offended. <laughs> no, no, my loud he, speaking. That's his not nature. to frighten you. No, no, I understand your position. Well, you know, position. I talk, I shout, and all that. You know, like, he like I, that's what I do. He treats you like a son. That's why he shouts. He's just like a son. The same thing. Father's a son. Thank you. Oh, yes. Shout. Yeah. No, no. What I have a proposition for you. I don't want to deprive you of that Bible. <laughs> okay. Thank you. There's one small condition. Yes. I want you to be your pastor. Okay. To prove to me that the Bible is God's word. That's all. This is very, very amazing. I think I've reacted to these guys having a conversation before, but I just don't know what it was about. But then I'm wondering, the title is quite something. I don't think I saw a point where this guy threw the Bible. I really didn't see that part in the video. And then I like what... The question I mean did that said well we know Yusuf it's not just in the Bibles even just maybe people from our countries you know Yusuf is Joseph in English that's that we're not saying Yusuf is funny in English should be plain and simple so if they're going to term someone as Israelite and then something else then there is a very very big problem that's what people, I don't know why people want to ignore these small, small things. I really don't know why people ignore such things because they really change the meaning when you change, 
should I say the word, the term? I don't even know what to use. But otherwise, um, like I said, I didn't see this guy throw his um, Bible. And did the pastor ever go see Ami do that? If you guys have the video, drop us a link in the comment section below and we'll react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends. And of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.